Greetings. <coughs> on the black light. Talking to my sisters and my brothers. Now, all these different events that you see on YouTube, social media, that's happening to us. No one pays or cares that much about what happened to individuals. They give their sympathy, like when Tatiana Jefferson was murdered, when Nipsey Hussle was assassinated. The people came out in numbers. But after a few days, you know, life goes on. And they leave it up to uh, the family or that particular town or city to handle the problem until it happens in their neighborhood their family or to them and it's been going on like that for years we get organization we start developing a birthing new organizations and uh, everybody chip in you know with the money we eat meat and greet and then that's it we go home we have a good time then we wait to the next murder assassination or something we see on YouTube or social media until that happens so you send your money to different YouTube stars all stars you know you got the YouTube all stars that beef with one another throw shade on one another, throw each other up under the bus. Instead of networking, pulling their resources together, now, my mother and I and my uncle and my grandmother members of the nation of Islam back in those days I was a baby but the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was developing all types of uh, institutions he had a a paper factory a newspaper called Muhammad Speaks going all over the world. He was writing books, going all over the world. They still sell it. He uh, was trying to build apartment buildings. He had apartment buildings. He had a community of Muslims over on Linwood across from Northern High. He had schools, buses. He employed a lot of black people, white people too. So today we have no examples like that. It's every man for himself. But we don't know we getting pimped because all our time, efforts, and energy is going 
to build up the Caucasians dynasty. I want to read something. I got these redemption papers. The UCC uh, papers. I got this a long time ago, man. About 20 a good 20 years ago and uh, brothers was uh, into the Washita the Empress and they was riding around with uh, license plates with the Washita license plates or independent license plates Moorish license plates and uh, that caught on and the hustlers started using that but the Texas Somebody in Texas, the one that print them up, printed them up to the militia, the white militia, and the white militia started distributing it to the brothers. And uh, I got a hold of them, but it's got some stuff to let you know. It's got some some information to let you know the black man know that he ain't got a. You don't have to. Uh, make out any papers or anything. All you got to do is declare your independence. But it's got to be in numbers. Just like they marched up at the Million Man March. You got to declare your independence and build up where your, where your, where your neighborhood is at make it a a city or a state yeah you can make your neighborhood a city or a state you know sign paper uh, uh, something among yourself a declaration of independence declaring yourself you know because see the majority rule that's what democracy means that's what democrats democratic uh, society means the, majority rule so Detroit is a majority city of blacks we could claim our independence but we don't want to we blending in with it and the more we blend in the more we give our time our energy to the building up of this system which is a white supremacist system. Brothers mad at the uh, federate, confederate flag. You should be mad at the, the red, white, and the blue too because George Washington had slaves, man. <laughs> before before you know that uh, Texas, before that was a Texas, you know, with slaves, or California with slaves, Washington, George Washington, Jefferson, and all them had slaves. You know, and they was using them as stock or cattle. But let me read something quickly before my time passes. It says Miss, Mr. Mc, says let us listen to, let us listen in on Congress congressional debates on this act on March 9, 1933. Mr. McGurgan, if we start out printing currency without regard for the gold reserve then it then in the end when we find that excessive inflation destroys the country and the people we shall try to get back to the gold standard I'm gonna read more but on a later a later uh, uh, day so they got off the gold standard and they're using all types of uh, backing now. But the main uh, 
most valuable backing they got is the people. But they people have a little more status than we than than the black man, even though they're being used too. So that's why you got the uh, different uh, people in Congress fighting now. You got the Republicans against the Democrats, but the, both of them are using the black man. They're using you. Uh, but they're, they're in a civil war up there in Congress. They're still fighting that civil war. And just like in the Civil War and the Revolutionary War, you got blacks that want to join They cause. Like we ain't got no cause. Like the black man ain't got no cause. He never did have a cause in your book. So even though we talking black power, we talking black consciousness. Then it turned that into a con game, a hustle, a pimp game, especially on YouTube. So, I mean, y'all can join uh, uh, the con game and the pimp game, but I'm telling you that just because you, you got enough money to pay your house note, the house ain't yours, the car ain't yours, you know. The money ain't even yours. It's fake money. They're using your energy, your time, your efforts, and all your hopes to build up the United States to take your, your energy away from you so you won't have none left to give to yourself. This is Black Light. Stay tuned.